ScriptKit is a toolkit that gives you the power to write and run scripts and automations on your development machine using JavaScript and TypeScript. You can do just about anything with ScriptKit. And in this video, I'm going to walk through a few features that allow me to, in a few lines of code, navigate to and display one of my Today I Learn posts. So for starters, I want to look at the div function, which allows me to display text in a pane that's provided by ScriptKit. So I've already got this first line, which awaits div and provides it a message that I want to print. So all I need to do is trigger the script, which I can do by hitting command semicolon, which will open up the runner. And then I can navigate through here. It's this view a TIL that I'm looking for. And if I run it, we'll see it displays hello script kit. Now I can take this a step further by using MD, which is a markdown function, and it is going to render this message a little more nicely and take any markdown syntax into consideration in how it renders. So if I use like a heading two here, we can see that again, if I trigger the script, it displays a bit more nicely. It's got some padding now, it's bolded, it's slightly larger because it's header two. So now let's take that a bit further. But first I wanna make it a little easier to trigger this script, so I'm gonna use a shortcut. And that can be defined using a comment where you say shortcut and then you give it any sort of key binding. For instance, I could do command shift J and then anytime I hit command shift J, it will trigger the script. I didn't have to toggle open the typical command palette. Instead, I was able to trigger it with a key binding directly. The next thing I want to look at is the home path helper. This makes it easy in any operating system to produce a path relative to your home directory. So I'm going to call that and I can give it any number of path arguments after that. So within my home directory, I have a code directory and then below that I have a TIL directory. So if I assign that to uh, a variable, then I can print that out instead. So let's try that and I'm going to to swap out that syntax so that it interpolates. And now if I trigger that with Command Shift J, we can see I'm displaying this path instead. So with that path available, the next thing I can do is use the path function that ScriptKit provides as part of its global API. And this will allow me to navigate from a path to uh, directories above and below it and to as a way of finding a specific file. So I want to be able to find files in my TIL project directory. So I'm going to use path as a way of navigating there. So this needs to be awaited because it'll require interaction from me. And then the path that it's going to start at is this code tail. Without any argument, path is going to start at your home directory, but I want it to start in the TIL directory so I can work from there. And then the resulting selection that you make will come out as a variable. So I can assign that to a file name, I suppose. And we can display that here instead. So I'm going to again trigger this with my shortcut. And now we can see I'm in a file navigation browser. So I can, you know, go up, down. I can start to autocomplete something. I can tab into that directory. I can find a specific file in here, hit enter. And now that file name gets passed to div markdown and it gets displayed here. Cool. So we're well on our way to displaying or viewing uh, the contents of a TIL file. The next thing I need to do is actually read in this file. So everything from uh, FS, I believe, is, is made globally available through ScriptKit. So I don't actually need to import fs here. I can just use read file directly. And so I'm going to get the data or content, whatever we want to call it, the file contents. I'm going to wait a read file on that file name. Oops, fail name. File name. And then I believe I need to pass it an encoding. And that is going to be, yeah, UTF-8. Great save that and then yeah the 
the file contents that are going to come out of here are going to be Markdown. That's what I write all my TILs in. So I can just pass that directly into here and the Markdown rendering will then know how to process that. So let's go ahead and hit Command Shift J and see how that looks. Can navigate to a specific file. I can scroll down, find something that I'm interested in, hit enter. And now it's displaying the contents of the file right here in ScriptKit. I can scroll down, I can read the whole thing. We see that uh, code blocks are rendered nicely. See that links are being rendered. I could click through to that if I was interested in doing so. I get the header. This is really slick the way this works. And that's all it was. That's all there was to it in order to display or view a TIL. It was one, two, you know, four lines of code. I guess five if you include the shortcut. So that to me uh, kind of conveys the power of ScriptKit. In just a few lines of code, I'm able to write a script that does some pretty interesting stuff, and uh, I'm able to integrate that into my workflow in a meaningful way. I'm excited to keep playing around with ScriptKit. I'm definitely going to uh, see how far I can push it. Definitely let me know if you are, you know, work on anything interesting in ScriptKit. I'd love to see what you have cooking.